When a relationship ends it can be immensely heartbreaking. We all cope with breakups in our own individual way with some. People seemingly getting over someone quickly while others take a lot longer. If you feel you're one of those people who take ages to recover from a breakup then you are definitely not alone. We are always told that after the initial shock and sadness, that it's plain sailing from there on in. But is this really the case? Getting out there again can seem extremely daunting. Not even close to being on our radar and this is okay. It's okay to feel sad and numb for a while after all it is a grieving process. It needs to be seen through to the end before we can start to heal ourselves. Whatever stage you're at whether you're at the beginning or perhaps it's been months, years and you still find yourself mourning over the relationship it's all normal. As much as they feel rubbish your negative feelings. Emotions are leading you on to the road to recovery so don't feel bad for still feeling them. It just means you're still healing and that's a good thing. There are many actions you can take that will help you move in a positive direction. Allowing yourself to heal while shifting your mindset to one of recovery and peace. Remember there's no time limit. The first thing that's important to remember is that there really isn't a time limit to how long it'll take to get over someone you love. You have probably heard the phrase, time's a healer. But this also makes us feel pressured to get over something quicker than we can. We feel ashamed if it's been months or even years and we still don't feel we've moved on. Always remember that it's okay. Don't beat yourself up about taking your time to heal as there really is no time limit. Let yourself feel your emotions. Negative emotions are often demonized. We are made to feel as though feeling sad angry and hurt is not good for us. We absolutely need to go through the grieving process. That brings denial anger blame depression desperation false hope and many more in between. Often these emotions go around in circles so it can feel as though you're getting over it. But then some come back to whack you straight in the face again. It may feel like the hurt is endless but remember to go with it. Accept the feelings for what they are a means to an end. Remove your ex from social media and your phone. In this day and age we are bombarded by other people's lives. Seeing what your ex is up to is ridiculously easy to do. But the problem with this is that you're not giving yourself space to heal. If you're finding it hard to let go of someone, then you need to consider removing them from all social media including your phone. This may feel like the last thing you want to do. But sometimes the best things to do aren't always the most comfortable. Remember that you are doing this for yourself and no one else. Seeing what they are up to all the time is only opening the emotional wound over. Over again and that wound will never have its chance to heal. After the initial sadness of deletion you will feel very empowered this empowerment will be good for your soul. Remember to love yourself. When we go through a heartbreaking separation. It's very easy to blame ourselves and believe that we just weren't good enough for them or the relationship. Even the most confident people can get an attack of unworthiness issues so don't beat yourself up. However it's crucial to remember that your worth is not tied to them, you are your own person. As much as you may think it your identity is not and was not tied to the relationship you had. Remembering to love yourself is probably the most important thing you can do after a breakup. Write down how you feel. There's a wonderful power in writing things down. Journaling your feelings may seem straight out of a 90s TV show but it has great healing qualities. Write down how you feel read it back to yourself throw it away or box it up. Seeing your feelings down on paper can help your mind gain perspective see things from another point of view. Another great thing to do is to write down a list of all the parts of the past relationship that annoyed or irritated you. A lot of the time we romanticize about the past and remember it better than it was. Writing down the negatives will serve as a reminder and will help when you have moments of relapse. Turn your energy into something positive. Although sitting around eating all the chocolate bingo watching TV shows is a great thing to do initially. There needs to come a time when being proactive is a must to get our lives going again. If you're still not up for seeing people or socializing then start an exercise routine. Go running walking or cycling, anything that will get those endorphins going. Exercise is an excellent catalyst to recovery. It will clear and calm your mind and reduce any stress. Being around people also really helps speed up recovery. 
Immersing yourself around people who love you serves as a gentle reminder. That love doesn't just exist in romantic relationships. Friends and family can help you get out of that funk all the more quickly. Don't hold on to anger and blame. Although embracing our negative emotions are good holding on to anger. Blame for too long can have a detrimental effect on ourselves and others. When we spend too much time in a space of blaming the other person for the way we feel. We are taking away our power and essentially giving it to them. It acts as a hindrance to our recovery and makes the process that much longer. Remember that no one is really to blame no matter what happened to end the relationship. Bitterness can eat away at you and it's important to recognize when this is taking over your thoughts and feelings. Don't torture yourself. It's very easy to fall into the trap of overanalyzing why the relationship ended. Wondering if there was something you could have done differently. These thoughts really serve us no purpose other than to torture ourselves. It's common to fantasize about how you could have done better or regretting something. You said or did that you feel could have contributed to the end of the relationship. But the reality is that there really is nothing you could have done. Your mind can go into overdrive sometimes but you need to do all you can to calm it down. Whether it's using yoga or meditation techniques or trying to focus on something else entirely. Remember there isn't just one person out there for you. We live on a planet with billions of people. It can feel like that person was the only one for you but we all know that isn't the case. You probably believe that no one else will make you laugh like that again or have so much in common with you and yes that may be true. But everyone is unique in their own way and there will be someone who will connect and bond with you in so many awesome ways. There was a reason that the relationship didn't work out and it's simply because you weren't meant to be together but that doesn't have to be a sad thought. You grew as a person that will only serve you well for the next amazing person to enter your life. It might not be soon but it will happen, just have faith it will all work out. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Fundamentally you will feel like you are in some kind of darkness for a while. It can be a scary and daunting place especially. If you haven't experienced a serious breakup before. But as much as you probably can't imagine it or think about it. There will come a day when you'll come out the other side. It will feel wonderful and natural you'll feel whole again. You'll be able to laugh and smile without thinking of them and most importantly. You will be a stronger and better person because of it. You may feel alone but millions of people have been through the exact same process in their own unique way have seen the light at the end of the tunnel. Use this as a reminder and a testament to the fact that you will also get through this too.